a short beginner level video for dashboarding in New Relic. We'll go to the dashboarding tab and create a new dashboard. Choose an account and give the dashboard a name. You can click on the top right icon to add a chart or click to add chart on the screen. In this case, we'll just add the dashboard to the favorites because the easiest way to create a dashboard is by reusing charts from existing dashboards. Every chart that has three dots on the top right side, you can click on and add to dashboard. Give the chart a name and select the dashboard. Let's do this for a couple of charts. Another item we can add to a dashboard is the service map. Just click add to dashboard. We can click on the message on the top right to view the dashboard. We can edit it and change the layout a little bit. Another easy way to add charts to a dashboard is from Query Your Data. You can choose the Data Explorer or the Query Builder, choose data from different accounts, and choose between events and metrics. Let's start from the Data Explorer. You can choose the event type, what you want to plot, and the dimensions or groupings. You can also add additional filter. Notice that the query is built for you. You can then choose how to visualize the data, edit the query, or add to a dashboard. You can also create charts from the Query Builder. You can use New Relic Query Language, a Prometheus style query language, or use the basic mode, which is an easy way to choose data type, visualization type, filter, grouping, and other options. And we can again add to dashboard. One thing to note when you're in dashboarding, you can click on the help icon and get additional information about dashboards. We can also add images, links, and text by using the add icon. For more information, click on the help link. For the example, we'll just put some simple text and add a company logo. After adjusting the layout, we have a pretty cool dashboard. For those who are interested in advanced dashboarding, I recommend an application called Nurco Lessons. You can learn different levels of New Relic Query language, try queries in your own environment, and add them to dashboards. I hope you find this video useful. Thank you very much for your time.